It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. First of all, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops here at Great Millstone who rule and who teach well. Peace and salutations unto the hopefully left. To the Akiyam out there on the highways and byways, making their bodies a living sacrifice as the scriptures ordain them to do so. I want to say shalom to you mighty brothers as well. Continue to fight the good fight of faith. Also, continue to spread the good news, which is the gospel, spread it across the four corners of the earth. Shalom to you mighty brothers for risking your lives and your freedom to push this word, and push this truth. Shalom to the Aquatas out there listening and learning in silence. Reverence to your husbands if you have one. Seeing you two have to fight the good fight of faith to stay in order <clears throat> under, the subjection, under subjection of your husband to the best of your ability. All right. Seeing that the Lord is making these times more perilous, man. All right. And in these perilous times, man, he said the Lord is going to live up the standard, man. The Lord is going to make a man more precious than fine gold. You know, in these times, man, to come. When you go into that word precious, it goes into what? Valuable. Which means what? We're going to be the true high value man on this earth, man. When the tables turn. All right. And the new currency would be stability, mental stability, spiritual stability, faith, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right? <clears throat> in the midst of all turmoil, all right? In the midst of chaos, the men of the Lord, Lord willing we be those men, are going to be stable to pursuing Isaiah 33 and 6. All right? And uh, you walk off, you women out there who don't have a husband, pray to the Lord that he sing you a man of the Lord, man. Okay? If it be his will. But this particular video, you know, I was reading the book of Ecclesiastes, <clears throat> you know, and uh, one scripture stood out to me, you know. And uh, that's Ecclesiastes 7 and 5. All right? Which is, um, it's very, it's very um, interesting, man, because, you know, a, -O -A, -O -A, a wise man, you know, would receive the rebuke and he would take that rebuke, all right, and build off of it. No matter if he liked the rebuke or not, he would sit back to reflect on what that said rebuke was really trying to bring you know bring to him man the point that was really trying to be you know point, uh, make brought across okay the scriptures talk about a wise man will get reproved you know and he would love you roughly prayer paraphrasing man why because rebuke goes into correction you know and it goes into you saving someone's life you know <clears throat> And saving someone from going down the wrong path, man. Okay? Rebuke goes into what? Correction. All right? Reproof goes into correction. Okay? That's Ecclesiastes 7 and 5. Let's get that in the NLT. It says, Better to be criticized by a wise person than to be praised by fools, man. You know? And I can remember back in my life, man, you know, you had a bunch of, you know, yes men around you, <laughs> you know, and uh, the yes men were there. Really, there was really there that's just to benefit from you and, and excrete, you know, uh, meaning uh, to take away from you or get what they could, you know, out of you, you know. And by the time, you know, they couldn't get no more out of you or whatever, or they was, they was done with you, man, or... Hey, hey, they left you alone, <laughs> okay? And they would praise you, you know, all all along, you know, they would praise you. Oh, man, that's not, you know, you this, you that, you do, you this, you know, okay? Oh, you're a good man, you're this, you know? 
But as soon as you say no to them, oh man, you ain't shit. <laughs> okay? That's why it's not good, you know, to have a bunch of yes men, all right, around you, man. Because really, they, they're foolish, man. They're really there to, uh, you know, sit by you and, and, and wait for you, you know, wait for your downfall, man. Okay? That's what it uh, pretty much said in Ecclesiastes 10, man. I slack you. Sirach, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, man. Never trust your enemy. Hey, our enemy could be a part of your own people, man. Hey, more so your own people, man. You know, I, I had to find out at the hard way, you know, in the world. Okay? Just because uh, 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 motherfuckers is blood don't make you family, man. And that's so true. You know, because blood, you know, can act like fucking enemies, man. <laughs> you know? They can act like enemies, man. I know that for a fact. I've been on both ends of the spectrum. You know? I've been the one playing. And I've also been the one getting played, man. You know? And then when you come into this truth, you start to understand the balance of certain things, man. And you understand what? You're not fucking innocent yourself, man. Okay? You're not as innocent as you, you know, was portraying yourself to be, man. Especially in the world, man. And that's what the, that's when you come into this truth, man. You start to reflect, you know, on certain things, man. And you, and you got to look at the man in the mirror and, and, and recognize, you know, that you're going off, man. That's what this truth does, man. Okay? It puts you in a constant state of reflection. Okay? So I'd rather get criticized by a person, you know, a wise person or whatever it may be, man, because I know that why, hey, he mean my he mean good to me, man. All right? He's there for my for my greater good. Okay? And that's what the you know the brothers is there for, man. You know, the apostles, the elders, the bishops, you know, the priests, whatever it may be. They are there, you know, to to, to, to correct you, especially in the truth, man. Because you might be a grown man and, you know, in age, but you're a babe within this truth, within this walk, man. Okay? You know? <laughs> and, that, and that's light years, man, uh, ahead of, of someone who just came into the truth, man. So they have the experience... You know, within this truth, man. So it's best to hear correction, you know, from anybody in the truth, whether you like the correction or not, whether the correction is harsh or not, all right? Whether you think or believe the correction is not pertaining to you, see what you can uh, get up out of it, man. All right? Because what? That could be your Howard Shai talking to you through another brother, man. All right, and and, and let you know, hey, you're going off, or whatever it may be, man. Okay, but it's better to be criticized by a wise person, man, than be praised by fools, man. All right, I'd rather have one wise person correct me, man, than have a thousand fools around me, you know, uh, as they say, swinging on my nuts, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's saying the world, you know. But pretty much is, you know, praising you, you know, but really waiting on your downfall, man. You can't trust a motherfucker like that, you know? Excuse my language, <laughs> you know? But that's the truth, man. You know? Let's go to another scripture. This is Proverbs chapter 10, 15, verse 10. It says, correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproofs shall die man that's so true man all right hey it's a very it's, it's a very grievous thing to get corrected man to realize that you've been going off man all right and if you get corrected and scolded to you know to that point man hey man you you take it like a jeep man you take it like a man dog you know hey 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 like it says in hebrew hey chastisement you know it's not you know uh it's, it's, it don't feel good, roughly paraphrasing, man. All right? But what? In the end, it's going to yield the peaceable fruits, man. All right? That correction is there, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to for you not to, you know, go off, you know, or go too far off, man. That's why I have, some dogs have leashes, man. 
you know some dogs have leashes man because they're they're pretty much young in the walk man all right they're pretty much young and being a dog man they haven't been trained correctly man okay and as soon as you start to train that dog you start to you know shorten that leash up a little bit by a little bit man and eventually what you're comfortable enough to take that leash off that dog around people man all right hey, and the lord got that leash on us man <laughs> you know that leash being all right this truth but also being these bodies man okay these chains of darkness that we are in all right that's a leash man but it's there for our greater good man it's there for us to feel this pain for us to be in sorrow all right the scriptures talk about you know better is the house you know of mourning than the house of mirth man all right and right now we're in the mourning state man all right our bodies decay all right we stink at times, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Yeah, man. But guess what? Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, man. Because he understands that, you know, you know, what, 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 what I mean, when we all been there, man. We've all forsaken the way of the Lord, man. Forsook the way of the Lord. All right? And at the time when we was in the world, you know, hey, guess what? We hated reproof, man. But guess what? When the Lord woke us up and revived us up to the truth, truth, for to the true truth, man, hey, man, it sparked something in us, man. And now we actually accept the reproof, man. We accept the correction, man, because we know that's the Lord correcting us, man, no matter who it's coming from, man, whether it's coming from somebody in the world or whether it's coming from somebody in the truth, man. All right? You learn from it, man. Okay? But correction, nevertheless, is needed, man. Okay? This is Proverbs 15 and 22. Without counsel, purposes and our disappointments, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established, man. This is why we have, you know, the apostles and elders, you know, the bishops here at Great Millstone, man. Okay? I don't know if I said it in the beginning, man. Double honors to the, you know, the apostles and elders of Bishop Great Millstone. I'll just say it again, you know, because without that, man, hey, we'll be going off in this doctrine, man. You know, we'll be like these other camps, you know, speaking, you know, uh, speaking, you know, lies and, and speaking false doctrine, man. You know, some 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 camps talks about, uh, uh. You know, the RFID, you know, Revelation 13 to 16 is not talking about the RFID, the MOTB, you know. It's talking about and the embargo, white women, you know, white Jesus or whatever the felt, you know, whatever that is. Which his name is not Jesus. Of course, his name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Right. But nevertheless, man, that's a doctrine that's pushed, you know, through Catholicism, Christianity, man. All right. And then you get some Hebrew Israelites who call themselves leaders in, in the Hebrew Israelite world pushing that hell doctrine, all right? Still pushing the name of Jesus Christ, okay? But, hey, the water Yahweh B'ashim Yahweh for the apostles and elders, man. The water Yahweh B'ashim Yahweh for Yahweh, you know, for, 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 for Yahweh uh, waking us up, man. All right, and, and 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 called us into this truth, man. And now, in return, we're making our calling an election sure by what studying and show ourselves approved. You know, holding fast within this truth, man. All right, and while being in this truth, man, you're gonna you're gonna have to accept a lot of correction, man. You might as well, you know, get to your get to the point and face it, man. Okay, you might as well get it in your mind. To know that, guess what, man? Hey, I'm going to need this correction, man. <laughs> you know? So I'm going to accept it, man. No matter if it's coming from a younger man or an older man. In the truth, man. All right? I mean, that's how I look at it, you know? That's how I look at it, man. 
A correction is correction. All right. Proverbs 15 and 22. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed, man. That's so true, man. You're not finna, like even in the world, you're not finna, these, you know, high, uh, you know, uh, 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 people that's in the army or the military, they not, they gonna have counsel before they go to war, man. You know, it's only, it's only right for them to do so. All right. Real talk. You know, if and at the council, if they don't have council, man, they're gonna get thrown off of their whole mission. You know? Now, of course, you might have to audible within the war, whatever it is. Of course, this is a spiritual war. And so in life, you're gonna have to audible, you know, change some things up here and there and adjust to the terrain, adjust to the situation. All right? But don't disregard, you know, the correction or the counsel, all right? Because you just want to go off and do your own thing, man. No, this shit don't work like that, man. Especially in this truth, man. Hey, this is of the Lord, man. We are your house shies, man. We are not, we don't belong to no man. All right? We belong to your house shy. And your house by Shim shy put order on earth, man. And we followed the correction and the order that the Lord put in our, on earth for us, man. Okay? So what? We won't be disappointed. Our purpose won't be disappointed, man. Let me get that in the NLT. Proverbs 15 and 22. Yeah, this is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22. It says, plans go wrong for lack of advice, man. You see that? Many advisors bring success, man. All right? And we have many advisors within this walk, man. Starting here at Great Millstone, man. All right? They're advising us what to do and what not to do within this walk, within this truth, man. All right? And the advice is given, but the advice means nothing if you don't take heed to the advice, man. How you gonna know if it's if it the, the the if what they're telling you is the truth, as if you don't try it out yourself, man. That's what our apostles and elders teach to us, man. All right, they say, look here, don't listen to me. You don't go check it out for yourself, cause you don't want it just to be a follower, you know. No, you go read this for yourself, man. Examine it, examine the situation, man. Pray on it, fast on it, whatever you need to do, you know, for the Lord, you know, to increase you in understanding. All right. Hey, but it goes wrong. Plans go wrong, man. Without lack of advice, man. All right. You take that advice, man. Hey, and as they say in the world, man, that saying goes, you eat the meat and spit out the bone. But you keep the bone because you never know when you might going to need that bone. man. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it, man. You don't just throw the bone out, you know. You keep it, man. You can never know. You might you need that bone for, you know, bone marrow or uh, use it to, as a weapon. Whatever, you know. <laughs> of course. Spiritually is what I'm saying, man. Mentally and spiritually. Okay? That's it, man. I say everyone enjoys a fitting reply. It is wonderful to say the right thing at the right time. Yeah, so let's go back. <clears throat> this is Proverbs 15 and 31. It says, The ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise, man. Where does the reproof of, of, of life lie, man? Within these scriptures, man. All right? This is why... You know, we meditate on the scriptures, man. Because in that, it brings life. All right? And not adhering or, 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 or listening or, 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 or uh, being under subjection to the truth or to the advice and the counsel of the Lord. You're going to cause yourself to die, man. All right? Hey, why and why die before your time, man? All because you were too, uh, you you were too hard headed, 
all right, to listen to correction. That's proud, man. That's being pride. That's pride kicks in, man. Okay? It said, verse 32, it says, He that refuseth instruction despises his own soul, man. But he that hear reproof get of understanding, man. You don't understand, man. You hate your own soul. You hate, you hate yourself, man. When you turn down instruction to the Lord, man. Because you think it's coming from, you know, because your eye is so evil towards your brother, man. You think it's, it's of man. But really, it's the Lord correcting you, man. Really, it's the Lord putting you on the right. And, and that's what a, a shepherd does, man. He puts you on him. He puts his sheep and his lamb back on the right path, man. All right? And he has that little hook, you know, to hook his sheep back, you know, in, in line. Because what? You can wander off, man. You can wander yourself back, you know, off into a ditch, man. And you find yourself, you know, turned upside down, man. And that's just in life, man. If we go off the path, you know, the scriptures say, he who wandered out of the way of understanding should remain in the congregation of the dead, man. Okay, and we'll find ourselves dying once we get away from the instructions and the counsel of the Lord, man. Okay? Yeah, it's very important, man, to listen to the counsel of the Lord. It's very important, man. And it should cut you, man. Just like it says, what's that in Hebrews? 4 and 12, this word is sharp, man. Than any two-edged sword, man. Piercing asunder, you know. Uh, let me just get it because I don't want to butcher it. You know, Hebrews chapter 4. I believe it's 4. And 12, let me see. Yep. It says, for the word, Hebrews 4 chapter 12, chapter 4 verse 12, it says, for the word of the Most High Power is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. He said, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrows. It said, and it's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart, man. All right? And that's this word, man. You know that saying, you know what they say, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words never hurt me, man. While we found out when we came into this truth, man, it's an absolute lie, <laughs> you know, because these words cut through the spirit, man. You know, hey, if you be a righteous man, if you call yourself a righteous man and you find out you've been living wicked, wickedly, you know, doing wicked, wickedness all your life, man. Okay. This word should, you know, uh, uh, cut you, man. Spiritually, man. Even us in the truth, man, we're not exempt of correction. We're not exempt of reproof. All right? We too must accept correction, man. If not more, because we know the truth. All right? And we're going to be held way more accountable than someone who never even knew about it. Who don't even know about it. We gonna be held accountable for that man. Okay. So yeah man. This truth is, is here. To keep us on the path man. Stay on the path. Uh, like in the movie Golden Child man. You know. Hey, Because we are the golden children man. We are the children of, of Israel man. The Asherah man. Okay. The princes of the power man. So it's a certain demeanor and a certain decorum that we must, you know, we, that we must obtain, man. Hey, but just like Revelate, uh, what's that, uh, Romans 11 to 7. You know, only the elect have obtained what he's seeking for, man. Obtain this truth, man. This knowledge, this wisdom, his understanding. But the what? The rest were blinded, man. Okay? The Lord put a stumbling block, you know, in, in the way for those who he don't want. That's just it. That's all, man. Hey, if you can't accept that, man. Hey, man, I don't know what to tell you. You know? Let's get another scripture. <clears throat> we'll be at uh, Sirach 20. Uh, let me see. Sirach chapter 20. Verse 16. Uh, 
Maybe we start at verse 1. It says, this is Sirach in Ecclesiastes, chapter 20, verse 1. There is a reproof that is not comely. Again, some man holdeth his tongue, and he is wise, man. And that's the best, sometimes that's the best way to handle things, man, when you're getting corrected and, you know, you're getting uh, rebuked, man. Is to just keep quiet, man. And, hey, most, hey, if you can add in con here and there, you know. Because you, because it's, it's one thing that they say, man, hey, you can't listen, man, if you're talking. <laughs> you can't do that, man. You can either do one of the two at, the, at a time. One of the two, man. You can either be doing the talking, and while you're talking, man, you're not listening. You could be doing the listening, man. All right? But you can't be listening and talking. Okay? And so it's best when you're getting correction. All right? And you're getting reproved. Man, it's best to just keep quiet, man, because you'll be considered wise. It said it is... Verse 2, it is better, it is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. You see that? No, that ain't going, that ain't, no. You're not finna be angry secretly. All right, holding grudges amongst brothers, and even within the mar your marriage, if we, with your woman, your wife, whatever. All right? That shouldn't be no secretly grudges, man. All right, being angry secret. No, man. What he say? Get it off your chest, man. You know? It says, and he that confesses his fault shall be preserved from hurt. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. That's so true, man. Because, wow, you confess your faults, man. And you putting, you vulnerable, and you putting your problems and your shortcomings out, you know, already. You laying it on the table for a motherfucker to really, you know, hey, 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 to accept you for who you are. And if they don't or they try to, you know, then that's on them, man. But guess what? It ain't going to hurt you in the because you've done what you're supposed to do. All right. Verse three. How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? For so shalt thou escape. Willful sin, man. That's true. That's so true, man. Hey, the scriptures talk about sinning willfully, man. When you know this truth, you and you growing up and you get the understanding of what the Lord requires from you, man. You know, but you decide to sin willfully, man. Hey, man, that's it's not a good thing, man. It's not a good spirit to be in, man. Okay. It's not, man. The Lord. Gave us this correction and rebuke, all right, for to, for repentance, man, to feel sorry, man. Okay, that's why we going through what we going through now, man. All right, we are ashamed of what we put our Lord through, our husband through, man, spiritual, man, spiritually. We're ashamed, you know, yeah, yeah, just like a wife should be ashamed for disobeying and being disobedient, you know, and committing adultery against her husband, man. And she's not to come back to his her husband with the same proud ass attitude, man. All right, it should be humble. It should be a bit of humility, man. All right, and you should be seeking the 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 the, the acceptance of your husband ten times more, like the Book of Baruch say, man. We we're, we hey, we we seeking the Lord, man. We're trying to get back in His good graces, man. All right. Way more than than when we were when we were there, when we was with him, man. You know, that's the mentality that you want, you know, your wife to be in, man. You don't want your wife to be in a, a proud ass, you know, uh, a proud mentality, man. And she she done done you wrong, ah, oh, man. You ain't gonna take us serious, man. Hey, this is like the Lord. Lord ain't gonna take us serious, man. If we being secretly angry against a brother, all right? No, confess your faults unto your brother, man, to one another. Or just leave that shit alone, man. It is what it is, man. You know, if, if water, I mean, if it can be, 
you know, uh, if you can rebuke that spirit, man, and knowing that you're going off or whatever it is, hey, then let it be, man. And if a brother or a sister, whatever it is, you know, offending you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, pray to the Lord, man, for that brother or sister, man. Okay? It is what it is. I'm going to jump down to five. It says, there is one that keepeth silence and is found wise. And another by much babbling becometh hateful, man. You know? Hey, like I said, man, when you keep silence, man, you found wise amongst, the, you know, amongst you know, your surrounding, you know, your surrounding people, man. All right? The multitude of words, man, you, 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 look, you look like a fool, man. You know, you can get your point across with just a few words, man. This is what I'm learning now, even growing into the truth, man. All right? Just because you, you know, you, 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 you can speak eloquently and you know big words and you know certain, you know. Hey, man, that... That don't put you in favor of the Lord. Okay? That's it, man. It's more to this, man, but it's not going to get everything. I got more scriptures, and then I'm going to just close up, man. Yeah, this is what I quoted, of course. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5. Let me get it in the, in the blue letter. You know? Hey, man, accept that correction, man, from your, especially from your apostles and elders, man, because they mean, well, they, they scriptures talk about they, they are there to watch over our souls, man. All right? To watch over our souls, man, to, 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 to know, hey, if we going off, you know, let's just say we teaching wrong doctrine and whatever it is, man, hey, the correction comes down from up top. And then guess what, man? It's up to us, you know, to get back on track, man, and trust the Lord that he's putting us he he'll give us the uh the, the 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 you know he'll manifest you know the, and make things clear unto us man okay that's just it man you know this is uh Hebrews chapter twelve Hebrews chapter twelve <laughs> that's beautiful a father's discipline Start at four, and that's so true, man. A father is, is is supposed to be in the house, you know, for for discipline, for correction, man. You know, it's it's gonna be certain attributes that you're gonna get from your father if you're around your father, man. But if you're around your mother too much, man, hey, she can't discipline you like your father can do it, man. You know why? Because it's not in her to do it. The Lord has not, you know, uh, put that spirit in her like that, man. Because why? She's going to discipline you in a wrong way, in an emotional stamp. You know, that's how she's going to discipline you, man. All right? That's just it, man. And a true woman of the Lord, man, understands, you know, after a while, man, you know, hey, you, you can, yeah, that boy, especially if you have a boy, man, you can't be up under the, 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 the guidance of that woman, man. It's going to fuck that boy head up, man. But... The scripture talk about we got a new thing on earth, man. A woman shall compass a man, though. All right? All right? Those are the, that are under you pretty much are over you now, man. In this world, in Esau, Edom's world, man. That that, that Satan is, is, is running and using Esau, Edom as, you know, he, he's coming after the workings of Satan like it speaks in Thessalonians, man. All right? Because he got everything all upside down, all right? And that's actually being embraced by Satan, man, to have division and disorder within the family, man. Okay? That's it, man. But that 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 son, man, is to is to uh is to, you know, break away from his mother, man, and, and go to his father, man. All right? But in this society, it's totally backwards, man. They get a woman's rights. You know, they say if the woman, I think it's in uh, Illinois, I believe it's in Indiana as well, too. If the woman, you know, don't, don't quote me on this, but if the woman had that, automatically she has jurisdiction, you know, over, over that child, man. If you have a baby with that woman, man. <laughs> All right. She got to say so, man. Yeah, man, that was strategically designed that way, man. 
Okay? You ain't got no might in your hands, man, as a man in the Lord, as a man in this society, man. A man is is really, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, passe in this society, man. Hey, but as for my house, we're going to serve the Lord, man. It is what it is. And if you don't want no parts of the order that I bring, because I'm bringing the order of the Lord, man, then step the fuck off of me, man. And that's it. That's it. That's all, man. And hopefully what? The Lord will bring things into his proper perspective, man. All right? Because after that, I can't take things and matters in, you can't take things and matters in your own hands in this society, man. All right? Because you'll be locked up in a clanker, man. So it's best to, hey, hey, <clears throat> if correction is given, hey, guess what, man? If you can't take heed to that correction, man, you give it to the Lord and let, and let the Lord's will be done. Whatever it be. A father's discipline. Hebrews 12 and 4. Ye have, ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, man. All right? When you correct your child or whatever it is, man, hey, listen, man, you want the best for your child, man. You really too much. Now, you care about other, you know, children, you know, outside of your family, outside of your home, but you care about your child the most, man. Right? You care about your child more so than these other kids, man. That's the Lord unto us, man. He care about us, man. He chose us. What it saying? Amos chapter 3. Let's get that right quick. Then we could come back there. You know, he punished us, man. Because we the only one that the Lord known on the face of the earth. I'm going to let the scripture speak. All the tribes are guilty, man. And the Lord left us in charge, man. All right? And, and, and with that, it was a certain responsibility you know, we were supposed to have, you know, okay? But we dropped the ball. It says, hear this word that the Lord Yahweh have spoken against you, O house of Israel. You hear that? Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, man. And that's so true, man. The Lord had to punish us. You know, for, 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 for transgressing the law, man. The Lord had to punish us for breaking the covenant. All right? Hey, the covenant was given to us. Romans chapter 9, man. All right? The sprinkling of the blood. We made that oath with the Lord. So guess what, man? We got punished for this. And this is what's going on now, man. We're bearing the indignation of the Lord, man, because we sinned against the Lord. It's that book of Micah. All right? We just ask the Lord now that he woke us up to this truth. We understand we, we, we sinned against the Lord to don't ruin us within this walk, man, within this training lesson, man. But build us up through the wisdom and the experiences that you've, you've, you've made us, you know, experience, man. Okay, we can go back to Hebrews 12 and we can close up. <clears throat> this is Hebrews chapter 12, uh, verse 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which, speak, which speaketh unto you as unto children, my, my son. All right, and that could be a daughter as well, you know, because you women, you elect women or whatever it may be that, that you know, yielded to this truth. All right. And yielded to the subjection, you know, in the order of the Lord. All right. Uh, what's that? First Corinthians 11, the head of every man, you know, is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. The head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. All right. Who the world calls God. All right. The head of the woman is the man, man. All right. And the woman's job is to, you know, uh, nurse the children, man, and bring up the children, man. That's order, and that's it. That's all, man. All right? And it's so simple, man, that people think that that order, it has to be something else. Oh, it has to be. Why? Because Esau Edom has 
put in their mind that, oh, man, you know, you could do more. You need to be this way. You need to work. You need to be over your husband. You, you need to be a part of my business. You need to be a, a corporate lady, a nurse or this. Hey, you can be all that within your family. All that that he wanted you to be for him, you could have been with your family, man. You could have been your husband's secretary, his accountant. You could have been the nurse within the family. You could have been all this, man, to build up your husband. But yet, the serpent beguiled Eve, man, into thinking that it was going to be her over and all. But you was just beguiled and, de and, and, and deceived into working for him. So you went under one yoke. To go on to a, a way worse yoke. A worse, a way worse yoke. That was the deception, man. And the woman, seeing that now, the women, of course, that's, you know, in, within this walk, in this truth, that's yielding under the order, you should see that and you should know that. And the spirit should kick in, man, once you start to go off, man. Once you get the correction and the chastisement and rebuke from your husband, man, if you have one. This is uh, uh, Hebrews 12 and 5. My son, despise not the chastisement of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. It says, from for whom the Lord loveth, he chastises and scourges every son, all right, whom he received. And you see that? Hey, hey what this world teaches you, man. This world teaches you if you... Chastise your son, chastise your kids, you're an abuser, man. You don't supposed to hit your kids. You don't supposed to, you know, even though there's different forms of chastisement, man. Alright? Okay. But nevertheless, man, this world looks at you as a as a uh uh uh, uh, uh you know as a as a fucking enemy, man, as a beast, man. When you do things the way according to the scriptures, man, when you do things according to your culture, man, your custom. OK, this world looks at you <laughs> like you shit, like you, you know, I don't want to say that. OK. But that's not what this world teaches, man. Why? Because this world does not have your best interest in life, man. This world is it, 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 it gives you praise, but wickedly, man. It praises you to be wicked. Okay? Verse 7, if you endure chastising, right? Goes into endurance, man. That endurance, man. Long suffer. You got to suffer. Patience. That word patience. That suffering. You got to be patient within this. All right? Because you're going to see all alone, man, that your father or your husband, all right, really loves you, man. When he give out the or decree or order for you to, you know, for you to do what you, you know, you know, the things to do or instruction. You shouldn't look at him as a male chauvinist or toxic masculinity or whatever fucking term that they use in this world now. Okay. Because your husband loves you, man. Our husband loved us, man. This is why he gave us a set of rules, man. There are conditions to love, man. All right? But this world teaches you, oh, oh love has no boundaries. Oh, you this, you need, we need unconditional love. That's not true, man. There's conditions to this thing, man. If you're doing what I say to do, yeah, then I'm going to fuck with you, man. But if you being disobedient, stubborn, knowing that that's the sin of witchcraft, all right, then guess what? I don't want no parts of you, man. That's what the Lord did to us. He had to discontinue, you know, us from our heritage, man, our inheritance. Now our inheritance is put off. Now we got to learn the hard way, man. And we're fighting back to get in the Lord's good graces, you know. To be able to receive that inheritance, man. 
So now what? We got to be patient. Like I, I was mentioned the other day, man. Hey, for a settlement, man, what, what, when you looking for a settlement from an injury or whatever it may be, all right, you got to be patient. And sometimes that settlement could take two, three, four, five, 20 years, man. But when you get it, hey, it's going to be well worth it, man. Okay? And that's how it is with the Lord, man. We waiting on the settlement, man. Our inheritance back, man. To be back joint heirs with our Lord, man. It says, um, if you endure chastity, the most high deal it with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Right, man. You'd be a bastard, man. Of a fatherless child. All right? But the Lord had to chastise us, man. It's just... 144,000 and one third, you know, of the men, women and children understands why they got their ass whooped, man. Why they had to go through what they go through, man, what they went through. OK, it says, but if ye be without chastisement, it says, whereof all are partakers, then you see that? It said, then are ye bastards and not sons. Man, a bastard is a fatherless, a fatherless son, man. Fatherless child. It said, we're, we're of all our partakers, man. Hey, all of us got chastised with the Lord. Whether you know it's of the Lord or whether you don't know it's of the Lord, man. We all getting chastised. Okay? Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us. And we have gave them reverence, man. You know? And that's true, man. You got we all got fathers in the flesh, man, that, you know, that corrected us or chastised us or whooped us when we was younger, man. And we still love our fathers for that, man. All right? How much more in this truth, in this walk, through the spirit? It says, Shall we not much rather be in subjection on the father of the spirits and live? Yeah, Yahweh Yahweh Yahweh. Is a father of spirits, man. He can put whatever spirit that he want to and, and send it against you, man. All right? It says, For they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure. You see that? Hey, that's what the fathers in the world do. Man. They chastise us of our own pleasure, man. Not, you know, because uh, uh, according to the scriptures, you know, how they supposed to chastise us. You know, it says, but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness, man. You see that it's going to benefit us if we receive this chastisement man, that the Lord chastised. us. We're going to benefit. We're going to profit from that. We're going to gain from that. OK. No chastisement or no chastening for the present seem to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterwards, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. You see that, man? Hey, it's the fruit, man. As the scriptures say, a tree is known by the fruit it bears, man. All right? So if you bear righteous fruit, hey, guess what, man? You got a lot of chastisement in your life, man. You know, and it was there to correct you, man. Why? Because the Lord loved you, man. The Lord deemed you not a bastard, man. All right? But if you are a wicked fruit, you can tell, man. Chastisement and rebuke and correction, it don't set well with you, you know? And it's going to yield that wicked fruit, man. Okay? That's all I got. And with that, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekha Kadash. All right? Kwame Yashra'ala to the elect. Okay? And accept that correction, man. It's needed for all of us. All we all had to get the correction, man. All right? But mainly the elect. Right now, we accepting this correction, man. Guess what? To be joint heirs back with our Lord. Shalom. On to the next.